Understanding the fact that how XP systems work is gonna help us a lot while we're going to code our own Discord.js XP system. I'm gonna try out my best to explain this to everyone who's watching today's video. Firstly, as we know how Discord XP system works. First of all, you need a database and the database we're gonna use in today's video is going to be MongoDB. And how that database is gonna work is technically gonna get the user ID, guild ID, and anything that is related to Discord XP system. Of course, you guys can use any kind of other databases, but in my opinion, MongoDB is the best the fastest database I, I think you guys should have some basic understandings about mongodb if you don't there's gonna be a link on top right of today's video which is gonna show you guys how you guys are be able to use mongodb for your discord bot so let's just say i'm gonna send the message in discord how is this going to give us xp and it's gonna go ahead and level us up so let's just say the user is gonna send a message we can do that pretty simple we can tell the bot either go ahead and give the person 2 xp or we can either give the bot a random number to give our user of course we don't want that to be a large amount of number because it could be a possibility the user who's going to get the xp is automatically going to the level one so we don't want that to happen so the matter of fact that you guys should really really work on is correct numbers and the correct xp numbers that you're going to give the user so if the user is going to get level 10 it's going to require a thousand xp or it's going to require two thousand and 500 xp or something like that and a random xp is going to be zero until 10 it could be even zero or it could be level one but we can fix that we can actually go ahead and give the bot some possibility send the message it's not going to give it zero so for example let's just say um the bot is going to send a random xp to us or give us a random xp which is a zero it's going to give the person zero xp and we don't want that to happen so we're going to go ahead and tell the bot that plus one after the number the random number we put so if we put a random number between 0 and 10, like we got a 6 XP from that message, it's going to give us 7 XP. So it's just an insurance encoding that whenever the user is sending a message, it's never going to be a 0 XP. And the number of for sure is going to be a number between 0 and 10, but 0 is not going to work. So we're going to tell it 1 until 11. So I think that's going to clarify a lot of things for you guys. So without further guys, let's get into the video. So as you can see, I have my bot ready to go. Everything is set up. There's like a default code and make sure you guys are already installed discord.js so you won't have any problem. I basically recommend you guys also watch a video about discord.js so you won't be worried at all. So please try your best to learn some understandings of discord.js on MongoDB, which I mentioned in the beginning of the video, so you won't have any problems while I'm teaching guys the code. So for today's video, we're going to install a package called Discord XP, and it's the best package right now available for making an XP system. So by doing that, we're just going to go ahead and install it, and of course, we're going to use npm, so I'm going to do npm i discord xp. So once I do this, gonna go ahead and install me discord xp for me there we go that's it so once we've done this we're gonna first tell the bot we're gonna tell the bot that it's gonna give us a random xp each time we do this however we're gonna give the bot also a login information into our mongodb so whenever it's trying to connect to the mongodb it won't have any problems so first we're gonna require the discord xp so const level equal to require discord xp so we told the bot that whenever we use level it's gonna require discord xp and then we're gonna tell the bot to log in using this kind of thing so we're gonna go ahead and do levels that set url and then we're gonna go ahead and set the url for our mongodb instead of here right now i'm not gonna put anything because as we all notice this is just some private information as well as the token of your bot we are gonna give some requirements to the message event so the people won't either spam it or either abuse it so let's just first of all i told the bot if the message is from the guild it's gonna return and now if the message was from an author that is a bot it's not gonna give any xp as well at all so it won't work if there was a message from an author which is a bot or the message is in dms so which is a pretty good feature and now we're gonna tell the bot it's gonna give us a random xp so we're gonna do const random xp equal to math dot floor and however you guys can set it as well as the math.random and then the amount you guys want to have for your xp so in today's video i'm gonna go ahead and set a number which i'm gonna multiply it number between 11 or i'm gonna put it on 9 because we're gonna also do something called plus plus 1 so what is what is going on here so we told the bot it's gonna give us a random xp and the random xp is gonna be a random number between 1 which is technically 0 like i said and explained in the beginning one until the nine and then it's gonna plus on the one and the reason i didn't put 10 in here is because let's just say the body is gonna give the person or the guy 
9, uh, 10 XP. However, we already put one here, so it's gonna give, give this person 11 XP, so we don't want it to happen. We want that to make it future proof, so whenever we use 9, it's gonna give the user 10, not more than 10, like I said. And now we're gonna use the function for giving the level up, so we're gonna go ahead and do const has level up equal to await levels append xp message .author .id, message .guild random xp and the random is gonna use random xp is gonna refer to this line of code and now when the user has leveled up to the upper level let's just say one or two or whatever it's gonna go ahead and send a message into the channel and it's gonna tell the user that you leveled up and this is your new level so firstly we're gonna tell the buttons it's gonna get get the level from the database and once it got the level from the database it's gonna go ahead and send a message with the information that is got from the database so we're gonna go ahead and first of all do you level up to now we're gonna go ahead and do something called user dot level and now keep it going Perfect, so we got the level from the database from the user who used it, and I think that's pretty much it. Now we gotta, we, we have everything ready in here, you can go ahead and use it. However, we also want the bot to go ahead and whenever we use a command, it's gonna give us the answer for the rank. We don't want that to always, you know, whenever we level up show up, we want that user give it, get a level command for himself too. So he can check out how, how much XP or level, whatever he has or she has, whatever. So we're gonna tell the bot that if the command is equal equal to the rank, it's gonna show us some information. And this information is technically going to be this. It's gonna show the level of the user. So that's pretty much it. So first of all, we're gonna again get the information from a database and then we're gonna go ahead and tell the bot to send a message. So we're gonna go ahead and like I said, we're gonna get the information from a database like again, and it's gonna get the information from the message author.id, so the person who sent the message. So we are just gonna go ahead and do message.channel.send, and then once the user send the message, I mean taking the boss send the message, it's gonna go ahead and do you are please user that level, I guess. Yeah. Perfect, so we told the bot that I'm gonna do this, and you can also make this bold as you wish. So I'm gonna do it, there we go. So that's pretty much it so we will show everything that we need i think that's pretty much it guys uh it's pretty much a straightforward um we told about that if there if there was a command called rank it's gonna do this kind of stuff and also you can make a leaderboard command i'm gonna show you guys how you guys are be able to do that however it's gonna get the map from us so whenever we are going to use this command it's gonna go ahead and go a whole map from the top 10 or whatever number like top five top six you know you know what i'm talking about so once we did this, we're gonna go ahead and go make another command which I copy and pasted. We're gonna call it leaderboard. And you can also call it LB. So I'm gonna do it this kind of function and then use LB. So if you use LB or leaderboard, it's gonna show us this. And there we go. So we don't want that to happen. We don't want this. What we need messages that send. Um, so first of all, we are going to do this as well because we're gonna also make a map. So how you can make a map is technically you're gonna get the data and the data is gonna create a map for you. So const draw leaderboard is gonna be await levels that fetch leaderboard message that guild ID. So the message that we send is gonna get the guild ID from that. So that's pretty much it. And how many people you want that to show up? Let's just say 10. 10 is a lot. I'm gonna make it five or whatever number you want. So top five is gonna show up for us. And for feature proofing, we're gonna tell the bot after leaderboard that we have has none. Like let's just say there there was uh, only one person. Let's just say there was the length of the leaderboard that we have is less than one. It's gonna go ahead and tell the bot that it's gonna you know I can't do this and it's gonna go ahead and reply to our message. Uh, nobody is in the leaderboard yet. So yeah, that's a pretty good handy feature. And now the last thing that we're gonna do is technically we're gonna compute the leaderboard. So we're gonna go ahead and do const leaderboard is equal to levels compute leaderboard. Boss draw, draw leaderboard dot no draw leaderboard la, oh my god I can't talk today draw leaderboard so technically we get the rock leaderboard and it's gonna go ahead and create a map for us and it's gonna get the level you know the leaderboard technique from the levels we should define the levels right over here so yeah and the last thing is gonna be the map so there we go so we told about the the you know leaderboard that is gonna map this for us lb I didn't, you know, the documentation told us to put LB, you can put anything you want here. But make sure to remember this, we're gonna send this LB into our message channel that sent. So, we get the leaderboard.map, it's gonna go ahead and show the position, and then the username and the this remainer, minter, I don't know, whatever, <laughs> level, and the XP that the person has. So, 
that's technically it. You can go ahead and customize this kind of map for yourself, but I think that's pretty good for me. I'm not gonna change anything here. It's like in a customization if I if you want to change it. And now we're gonna do message the channel that send. It's gonna send the person. I mean, sorry, the channel that we did this. Uh, the leaderboard. So we're gonna do LB. However, we're gonna also do this because there's a reason. So we're gonna do LB dot join and this kind of thing. So there's a reason for this. So. Whenever you're trying to show this stuff out, it's going to be one after another. We don't want it to happen. We want that to each member has its own stage. We don't want that to get messy. So we're going to put two of these. So it's going to separate each user in the leaderboard from each other. So we won't get messy at all. And that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any problems, come in comment down below and go ahead and join our Discord server. I will try my best to help everybody on there. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and hit that red subscribe button. Turn on post notifications if you're going to get notified for future videos. And thanks for watching today's video again. Big, big jungles, big jungles.